Africa is going to produce great mathematicians and great physicists. Africa has now the opportunity to participate fully in the turnaround around the clock of development in the light and laser-based technology for the benefit of all. Ghanians shaping the world in the field of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Previously, Africa was known as a land of marauding barbarians, a dark continent whose people lacked any sense of civility or reason. However, some profound examples have demonstrated beyond doubt that the African man is capable of achieving his dreams and reaching high pedestals that many cannot imagine. Ghana, officially the Republic of Ghana, is a country in West Africa. It abuts the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean to the south, sharing borders with the Ivory Coast in the west, Burkina Faso in the north, and Togo in the east. Ghana is always celebrated for its rich history, culture, and natural wealth. Ghana has produced some of the finest individuals who have had great impact in politics, academia, art sports, and many more. In today's video, we shall take a look at some of the outstanding Ghanians shaping the word in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics together with their discoveries. Do you want to know what these individuals are doing to shape our society? Watch till the end to find out. If you are new to Africa Reloaded, welcome, be sure to like, click on the notification button, and turn on the notification icon so you do not miss any of our videos. 1. Professor Francis Coffey Alati He was one of the finest mathematical physicists Ghana has ever produced. He became first Ghanaian to obtain a doctorate in mathematical sciences in early 1966. His father owned a shop in which he sold books, and Alati at his young age will help his father repack books when classes were over. It was through this act that his attention was drawn to books about sciences. He spent most of his free time reading the biographies of famous scientists who were explaining the universe like Albert Einstein, which increased his interest in sciences. After completing his studies in Ghana National College, he perused further studies at the University Tutorial College and the London Imperial College of Science and Technology. Professor Alate held various leadership positions for the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences, the Mathematical Association of Ghana, the Ghana Institution of Physics, and played a key role establishing the University of Energy and Natural Resources in the Brong-Hafo region. He became the first Ghanaian full professor in the field of mathematics in 1973. At the KNUST, he was alternately appointed pro-vice-chancellor of the university in 1978. He postulated a latte formalism theory from his work on soft X-ray spectroscopy, which is a technique used to detect matter in outer space. He was recognized in the UK for this achievement. He received the Prince Philip Gold Medal Award in 1973. He saw science, which was very important to him as an essential means of meeting society's needs for food, water, transport, communication, good environments, health, safety, and poverty alleviation. He was honored with a Millennium Excellence Award for Science and Environment in 2005. Prof. Alate passed away in November 7, 2017 of natural causes, and he was given a state burial by the Ghanaian government in recognition to his contribution towards the advancement of science. I'm not interested in money. I just want to do research and be, be, contribute to science. 2. Dr. Thomas Ouso Mensa. Dr. Mensa specializes in fiber optics and nanotechnology. Without his contributions, fiber optics would not exist as it does today. In fact, most Africans and people of African descent around the world have never heard of him. However, his work has enabled the world to enjoy its current high level of digital communication and has even assisted the U.S. military in asserting its dominance in the field of laser-guided missiles. 
Dr. Menso was born in Kumasi, Ghana, and is widely regarded as one of the greatest minds of the 21st century. J.K. Mensa, his father, was a cocoa merchant who shipped cocoa beans to France. Mensa received his first degree in chemical engineering from Kwame Krumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi, after attending Adesado College in Cape Coast, Ghana. After receiving a French government scholarship to study at Montpellier University in France, his life changed for the better. In 1977, while still at Montpellier, he attended a program at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and received a certificate from MIT in the modeling and simulation of chemical processes. He received his PhD in chemical engineering from Montpelier University a year later, and his life has never been the same since. Dr. Mensa's innovation in fiber optics also helped the United States become the global leader in the internet space, spawning Fortune 500 companies like Facebook, Google, Amazon, and others that have generated trillions of dollars for America. Mensa is now the president and CEO of Georgia Aerospace Systems, which produces nano-composite structures for the Pentagon's missiles and aircraft. You are looking at a person who created a technology for you to send pictures on your cell phone worldwide. You are looking at him. 3. Dr. Ashite Trebai Alanu. Dr. Ashite Trebai Alanu is a member of the Mechanical and Robotic Technologies Group on the JPL Engineering Staff. Dr. Trebai Alanu is a multidisciplinary engineer with expertise in planetary rover operations, distributed mobile robotics, system architectures, dynamic modeling, and control system design for aerospace and mechatronic systems. He received a Bachelor in Engineering in Aeronautical Engineering from Queen Mary College, University of London, and a PhD in Aerospace Engineering from the Royal Military College of Science, Cranfield University, both in the United Kingdom. Dr. Ashite Trebayolanu is the Product Delivery Manager for the InSight Mars Mission Instrument Deployment System and a technical group lead in the robotic manipulation and sampling group at NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, California Institute of Technology, where he has worked since 1999. Dr. Treve Alanu received the 2008 NASA Exceptional Engineering Achievement Medal for his contributions to the Mars Exploration Rover mission, the 2007 Outstanding Engineer Award from IEEE Region 6 the 2007 Sir Monty Finiston Achievement Medal from the Institution of Engineering and Technology, the 2010 Specialist Silver Award from the Royal Aeronautical Society, the United Kingdom, and the United States of America's 21st Century Trailblazer Award in Systems Engineering. Because we are in a world where we are at the precipice of, you know, life-changing technologies, okay, and for us to harness these transformative forces, what we need to do is to develop kids or students that are, uh, are problem solvers. So I don't care whether you do accounting or you do medicine or you do engineering, you're being trained to solve a problem. So when you see a problem, you should have an intuitive way of addressing that problem. Four, Bright Simons. Bright Simons is the president of M Pedigree, a social enterprise that works on three continents in collaboration with governments, Fortune 500 companies, and grassroots organizations to spread innovative technologies that protect communities from the harmful effects of counterfeiting, particularly in sensitive sectors such as health, agriculture, cosmetics, and automotive. For more than a decade, Bright has shaped M. Pedigree's relentless innovation cycle guiding the company away from a focus on authentication and supply chain technologies and toward the broader spaces of smart sensors, analytics, and intelligent decision support systems. His most recent work on the application of smart polymers to health cold chain problems has been funded in part by the Harvard Innovation Labs. Bright's civic engagement proceeds and extends beyond M. Pedigree. For nearly two decades, he has straddled public policy, social and civic activism, and prolific citizen journalism in what he calls the digital public square, 
writing for influential outlets such as the Harvard Business Review's online edition, Quartz Magazine, the BBC Business Daily Show, and the Huffington Post. He is a frequent collaborator and participant in multidisciplinary efforts to break down silos and bridge gaps in the search for solutions. When you think of a wedding, and you think of the institution of marriage, they are clearly not the same thing. One is an event. So scratching it off and sending it is an event. What institution are we trying to create here? It's a meta institution, a generative institution. Not all institutions are the same. Not all partnerships are the same. What this particular arrangement allows to happen is that different repositories can talk to each other. Five, Dr. Ave Kludze. He was born in the small town of Havjiboxo, near Hoho in Ghana's Volta region, but grew up in Accra. His early interest in aviation and science was unsurprising given his family's long line of intellectuals. Justice Anselmus Kludze, a legal luminary in his own right, was once Chief Justice of the Republic. His curiosity about how his systems, such as the radio and other electrical gadgets worked, earned him a reputation as a genius at a young age. He earned his master's and doctorate degrees in electrical and systems engineering from the prestigious John Hopkins University, where he designed the Human Locator System, who LOS, as part of his coursework. Dr. Ave Kludze, a 43-year-old Ghanaian, is a top systems engineer at NASA. He is a member of NASA's team working on the United States mission to send a manned mission to Mars. He is the first African to command an orbiting spacecraft. In 2002, he was recognized and honored at the second biennial Adesadal College Excellence Awards at a colorful ceremony at the State House in Accra. Ghana's first satellite, the Ghana Sodom Project, was carried out by the Space Systems Technology Laboratory of All Nations University. This project was part of a series of projects to spearhead space science and satellite technology activities in Ghana and Africa. The historic Ghana Sat 1, which is one Unite experimental cub, set which was the first university satellite in sub Saharan Africa which weights 1,000 grams developed by three indigenous engineers, namely Joseph Kwanza, Benjamin Bonsu, Ernest Mady through a partnership program with the Kishu Institute of Technology Japan and Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Some kids are rounded, whereby they are good in arts and they are good in science. Some kids are very good in science and might not be good in arts and others might be very good in arts and not science. So I think that it's a combination of factors, your environment, how you grew up, and how your parents nurtured you. I think that also has an impact on how you think and what kind of paths you take in life. Uh, and I think my background personally, I think the way my parents, my mom and my dad, allowed me to do, I mean, experiment with things, I think that helped me a lot because they could have killed those interests very early by giving me some very, I mean, serious punishments, but they never did that. So I think that plays a major role. And then also encouraging the kids. Six, Dr. Nat Kwanza. Dr. Kwanza is a botanist by training and an ethnobotanist by profession. With a PhD in bacteriology from the University of London's Goldsmiths College, as well as a Master of Science in Botany, a Bachelor of Science Honors, and a Diploma in Education from Ghana's University of Cape Coast. He has been the Academic Director of the Madagascar Traditional Medicine and Healthcare Systems Summer Program since 2008. In 2013 to 2014, he was also the Academic Director for the SIT Program Tanzania, Zanzibar, Coastal Ecology and Natural Resource Management. Dr. Kwanza conducts research, provides advice, and gives lectures on a variety of topics, including integrated healthcare, traditional medicine, biological and cultural diversity conservation, sustainable resource use, and rural development. He has created an integrated healthcare system approach to healthcare development and the preservation of biocultural diversity. His work has always included local and international public education through radio and television documentaries, 
as well as popular scientific publications. In 2000, he received the prestigious Goldman Environmental Prize. Study abroad is vital in the lives of anyone because you get to understand the cultures, the different issues at stake. Many ancient scientists and discoveries have been proven to be African in origin. Africans are not left behind in the modern era when it comes to shaping the world in the field of sciences. These are just a few of the Ganyans we encountered. Tell us about any other Ganyans or great minds in your country that we missed in the comments section. Please like and share this video and remember to subscribe to our channel.